11 months and 17 days after the 2019 presidential election, the first fixed politics conference holds in Lagos. This talk shop focuses on stirring advocacy against bad leadership in Nigeria. It is the Robert Bosch Academy Conference being facilitated by former ACP and presidential candidate Obi Ezekwesili to present her research work on changing politics structurally for Africa's prosperity. We need a new political culture that subordinates private interests to the collective welfare. And you can do that by the kind of political class that will emerge different from the current monopoly political class. And with this new term, monopoly democracy, established by the researcher and former education minister, Obieza Kwasili, Professor Patutomi joins in, and along with other political elites here, the call on electorates to demand a shift from democratic monopoly to real democracy. We cannot have rational public conversation in Nigeria because the moment you point to something that is important, that we need to talk about to solve it, the Ministry of Information will send people to begin to blackmail you on social media, call you all kinds of names. So our country is in a terrible position because we have the wrong people in public office who don't even understand the meaning of public conversation. If we know that good governance is an absolute necessity for countries to grow and develop, and we know that good governance is not possible without good politics. And then we also know that what we have seen so far across our continent, and especially our country, is nothing that comes close to good politics. It therefore means that there is a structural issue. To break that ceiling, you need to fight, you need to work hard, you need to have long hours. This gathering of social sector influencers, political thought leaders agree that ahead of 2023 elections, elective positions must be for the qualified, not for the favoured candidate, handpicked by political godfathers. Public life is about morality, whether we like it or not. If the people who are there are just self-serving people who are pushing for their self-interest, as is the dominant case today, uh, we're not going to make any progress. And so that majority that stays away will not vote, will not demonstrate, will not, must become involved. Persons with disabilities have rights, they have the potentials, they have the talent, they have the gifts and they have what it takes to become great leaders. But the support, the empowerment and the opportunities are not there. I ran for House of Representatives in the 2019 elections. I was in the field, and I know the challenges. Three things matter here. One, young people. I think um, Dr. Hamina has said that. There is an intergenerational gap that I think needs to be blocked. Young people have shown with uh, the leadership of uh, Samson and Yaga Africa that we can bring the numbers together if the right support systems exist for reform in this country. Mary Chinda for Plus TV Africa.